Hiya, Mike. Yeah, Big Daddy. <laughs> no. Well, what I... Yeah, I know it's over, but how do I get rid of it? <laughs> yeah? Oh, now, wait a minute. That ain't for me, that kind of stuff. That's for the old days. That cementing in the river stuff. What is it? <laughs> oh, besides, it's too big. I couldn't get it in the car. Yeah. Huh? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Glad you taught it that. Great idea. Nobody could ever put the finger on me, could they? Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, Mike. Well, that's... Elliot Ness is around. I'm dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and from all of us, we'd like to say Happy New Year. <laughs> Boy, what a New Year Eve it was. You know, I was in one club, and everybody was so drunk, I could hardly see them. <laughs> I had a swell New Year, and I'll be glad when the swelling goes down. <laughs> no, believe me, this one year, I was as sober as the next guy. Unfortunately, the next guy was Dean Martin. <laughs> My house has been full all day with the relatives. They stop, they, they drop in, you know, for a call. Some of them called in for a drop. <laughs> they always come over on New Year's because that's the day when my brother-in-law was born. And you know, for three years after he was born, his father thought he was a hangover. <laughs> and you know, uh, what, uh, you know, every year at this time, some idiot comes out and he makes predictions. I got a few. <laughs> <laughs> you write that on there? <laughs> I got some uh, predictions. I predict that science will find a cure for all diseases, which will give Ben Casey something to really be sore about. <laughs> and I predict that Ed Sullivan will unfold his arms and his chest will fall off. <laughs> I predict that Mitch Miller will shave off his beard. <laughs> Mitch Miller will shave off his beard and will give us the answer to the burning question, whatever happened to baby Jane? <laughs> Mark my predictions because when I make a prediction, boy, it sticks, and I got an insult to prove it. <laughs> hey, I got, I got Gertrude and Heathcliff, two seagulls, baby. He came home on New Year's. She says, You've been unfaithful to me. He says, What do you mean? Says, I heard you say to those fellows you were going out for a little swallow. <laughs> what's the idea of coming home in this condition? Says, what's the matter? I'm nothing wrong with me. You're the one that's drunk. You're drunk. I am not. You are, too. Do you see a lot of pelicans running around down there, blue, green, and orange, and purple? No. I told you to drunk. The beach is lousy with them. <laughs> but you know what? It, what is kind of fun, though, in a hospital, now, like down in Cathedral City at the hospital at the maternity ward, they have a little uh, a window at the end of the hall, and you can walk in and see the newborn baby, see? Now, this is something you lovely ladies probably will never get to see, is the expression on the husband's face when he sees the little ones for the first time, see? Now, and now, I'm going to show you the typical father that goes in, and they look around, and they always pick the cutest one in the bunch. And that one has to be his. Wait, I'll show you. Give me my hat. Give me my hat. A little music, will you? <laughs> 